Good day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews and today we're going to be installing SlimROM on the Galaxy S7 I'm stoked that all these uh, AOSP ROMs are coming out now and I've been waiting for SlimROM for a long time looks like there's a stable version out so I'm going to install it let's get straight into it so the first thing I'm going to do is just boot straight into recovery volume up, power on the home button Oops, there we go, we're straight into it. The wipe format data, got to type in yes. There we go, we go home. Going to install my trusty little OTG. Go to install, select storage, OTG, OK, slim, swipe. There we go, she's installing slim ROMs. This is a beta version, mind you, so uh, we're going to expect bugs. There we go, there you can see it says succeeded, done. Got a wipe cache. Swipe, go back, install, Pico gaps, install. Failed, so I'm going to wipe from there. And I'm going to go back, install, and I'm going to do mini dynamic gaps. So you always have a couple of options. I always do. I have different ROMs and I have different gaps on my on my storage card down here. That way if anything happens, like just then, you've got a way out. That says it was completed, done. Wipe down it, cache, swipe. Reboot, reboot system. There's the boot image for slim ROMs. Alrighty, here we go. We're all set up with um, Slim ROMs. Now, there's a reason they call it Slim ROMs. And as you can see, fingerprint scanner works. But that's all that's on it. They are the only apps on it. I'll just see if I can dim that down a bit for you. So they're the only apps on it. And I'll just show you the interface. You've got status bar, you can change the icons and the battery style and then your recent apps and I'll go back on more your nav bar so you can have nav buttons and disable your hardware buttons and that's it that is slim rom so very slim very fast very snappy I haven't downloaded any of my um, apps onto it yet. I'll see how it goes though, but that's SlimROM's stock standard. Very minimal, very fast. That's the SlimROM's we know and love. So if you want to get it on your S7, it looks like everything's fine. Bluetooth's working, wi is working, I had the 4G working as well. Um, no problems whatsoever. I just installed the um, Dynamic gaps, as you can see, in that the um, open gaps didn't work. But that's from the OTG. It might work if it's just stored on your um, on your phone's hard drive. Any questions about Slim ROMs? Hit me up in the questions below. Don't forget, leave a like, share this, give me some comments. Tell me what ROM do you prefer for your Galaxy S7 or any other device? Don't be scared. Get involved. I'll catch us in the next one. Check ya.